leaving uh, Ben Nevis Caravan Park. There's a bit of a queue, I think, up there for the water. Oh, is there? If we go the other way. I don't know whether it's a one-way system. Luckily, the people behind went out, didn't they? Yeah, and made, left, made it easier to, to get out. We were kind of dreading that, weren't we? Yeah, I think the pictures down the bottom are much better than what pictures up up here. They're leveler and there's more room. So these ones are all right, but they're not a service, are they? No, but that would have done us really, I suppose. Yeah. Since I had to use the aqua roller and the waste well, master. Well, anyway. Yeah, I must have. Admit to being a little bit disappointed with this site. I was expecting a bit more. The well, location is fantastic. But, uh, anyway, we both got stinking cold. Yeah, this way. so we're yesterday struggling today we? in bed. Yeah. Lynn's got a cold now as well. Yeah. I've had much of an appetite either, have we? No, I've hardly eaten anything all yesterday. Hopefully it's nothing worse than the cold. I just didn't want to do anything yesterday. No. So anyway, we're off to Inverco. We've never been before. Via we'll go Morrison's. Via Morrison's and stop in Fort William because we can't get into half one.
bridge. Yeah. Was this? I think they were starting this when we were last here, weren't they? I think they were, and we did that trip round. Yeah. Arriving at Invercut Caravan and Camping Park on the left. Saying, don't ask for our services may only cause offence. <laughs> Here's the prices. £32 inclusive of two people. Pet, dog, cat. It's a pound extra. Lockside serviced pitches, which we're on, are extra £3. Children's pup tent, £3. Gazebos and awnings, £3. Extra adult, £5. Extra child, between three and six, £3. Extra car, £3. Boat on trailer, £3. It could all add up that. You probably can't see that, but right out into the sun, that's the pap of Glencoe. Oh, sorry looking telephone box there. Uh, it's obviously the facilities block. Reception here. There's the map. There we are. We're down on the front, along here somewhere. No, oh, no, we're down here somewhere, bigger bum. Ladies there. Unisex toilet and shower. The gents just down here. I'd say the toilets are a bit dated and need of decoration and a bit untidy as well. Some people don't know how to flush the toilet. But uh, soon that will be dealt with. A bit of bird life out there. But yeah, it's a beautiful place. Yeah, so we're down here. It's only really on two levels. Uh, most of the caravans and motorhomes are up that side. But if you want a lock side view, you have to pay it that bit, a little bit extra. I think we paid 36 a night. All right, boys. What do you think of the site? It's okay, isn't it? Here we are next to Glynn. for a little tour around the campsite. And yes, I'm feeling a bit better. Still coughing, but uh, it's a bit better than I was. Loops around here. Waste and uh, fresh water. 
그런 구조가 있어요. 오, 됐네. So make much own service point. Basically, a couple of holes in the ground there for the water to go down. And some drinking water and the chemical waste is there as well. Ooh. Standard, I think. I don't think there's any glass pictures. I don't think that. Oh, egg in so we're going to take Glenn and Sharon up so up there so we're going to take a couple of passengers reason for doing that is I want to show you how the travel seats work on the van so let's have a look right so there's a little door there so you can step into the compartment so just unclick that and that falls back and it took me ages to figure out but you actually have to push the button in it's got a magnetic catch there so that locks it out of the way. Alright. 
and then you turn this handle and the seat comes up out there it's got the seat belt on it okay and the headrest so having got the seat back up you now need the the base with the hard back on it and it's got two securing clips here as well you need that and the other thing you need to do before this is the second time I filmed this is to remember to get the seat belt out itself so yeah there's a couple of clips here on here and that one clips down there that one clips down there and this one clips And the next stage is to get the seat back, it's got these velcro straps, put that in there, make sure you get the seat belt around that, like that, it doesn't get trapped, get the seat belt buckle in position. and then do these straps up. Another one. Here it is. Okay. Too close. That's it. And that's nice and tight then. And that's your seat made up. seats made up, travel seats made up. We're ready to go. Well, look, the other side's basically the same, except the door can only fold inwards here because of the table. And we've got a catch to hold it in place. So, get more leg room in this side as well. What do you reckon, Pops? Well, a whole new area to explore, isn't there? What's the only problem then? Is obviously can't use the, use the beds now. It's full of cushions. Now one thing we have realised, and we're just about ready to get going, is how on earth do you get in here? It's really, really oh, tight. I'm sure this do not go back any... Well it can move over a bit that way, if you've got the thing. Yeah, see it. Which I suppose it gives you a bit more room, but... It doesn't move back. It doesn't it move back any further that way. Now, the last time we used travel seats in an Adamo was in the 69.4, which has got longer sofas. Yeah. So you find that this person here... Yeah, they've got plenty of room. fine. Just how... Oh, no uh, uh. Careful. <laughs> I have to film myself doing an injury. Oh, I couldn't be in Fort William Hospital, surely. No, that's not going to work, is it? It's obvious, really, what you do. You pull the driver's seat you pull forward. Pull the driver's seat forward. Yeah. Gives you a bit more room. Yeah, not for the driver, it doesn't. No, no. So. So you, can you get in there? <laughs> <laughs> I think we will resume this later. Right, so we put the table all the way down now. Yes. Yeah, We've so got this tiny error, error, error. Area. Okay. Area. Yeah. So you've got this tiny area yeah. to get your leg in yeah. there. I think you've got to step over it. You've got to sort of step over and hug the chair. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah, then I'd have to... Then you can't get out until I get out. No, so I'm sort of... <laughs> <hurt> me. <laughs> 
Yeah, so we're heading out and we're just going to go up the road to the Clackagh Inn. Well, we haven't been there for a while. I wanted to try out the travel seats, which we've done. Well, we are doing. Are you all right in the back there? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. fine. <laughs> what else will be here? Little Ariba. All right, Barbara, Steve, that one. Be a step up, wouldn't it? Oh, it's a little bit tight there, isn't it? Clear. Thanks. I, I usually run down the outside of uh, statics. Got a little cycle round here this morning. Oh, did you? Yeah. It was going to be a little better. Yeah, nearly killed me. I realise I left a parking ticket in the windscreen. Can't get to it either. At least with this working now, I can see if it was behind me. Yeah. Yeah, straight up there. A82, one of the most scenic drives in, in yeah. the world. I'll have a come across it in this direction. Usually yeah. we're back a different route. Yeah. Most of that squeaking is that door. No parking there, is there? No parking there. Is there parking here? Yeah. It's all right. You have to see me back, I think. I say you have to see me back. <coughs> <coughs> I would, but I can't get out. I don't stand there checking it out, Get off then, Pops. Hey? Hey? Keep under the control now. Come here. Come here. Vegetarian haggis. Yeah. Yeah. Real haggis. That one, that's a haggis that had to die for his meal. <laughs> and that's a fish that had to die for yes, it. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, and, um, and that's a, a pig. That's and a pulled pig. pork that had to die for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's water. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So all we've got to do is find a way back onto the road. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to leave you here in this fantastic scenery. It's uh, just a pleasure to come back here. And uh, we're off tomorrow. To the Trossachs Holiday Park. Yeah. About a two hour journey, I think it is. Which, yeah. which should be good. If you have been so... Um, Unwell. Not well. The last couple of days or so. Yeah, so it's been a bit of a struggle coming on this walk, to be honest. A little bit chesty and a bit coffee. Yeah. But anyway, it gets us out in the fresh air and the midges. Yeah. 
We didn't bring any <laughs> smidge. We did. But so it's we better in get the going, don't we? Yeah, we are, yeah. All right. So yeah. we'll see you soon. Yeah, bye, bye then. Bye then.